thanks for purchasing the InstaPhoto slideshow. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an overview of the project, show you how to change your text areas, and show you how to change your photos. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is go over the final composition. And we have several scenes in here. Um, there's actually 19. And this is all uh, motion tracked footage that I used. I used Mocha to track these photos that were shot on the floor in my house. And in this template, you can put your own photos um, in each scene. You can use any photos you want. You can download your photos from Instagram. Um, and there's a link in the readme file that will take you to this website where you need to log in with your username and your password uh, for Instagram and you can download all of your photos in a zip folder. So let's replace our photo in this uh, in scene number two, which is the intro focus stack right here. Let's go to our project panel, go to the replace images here folder, twirl that down. And we're going to double click on photo number one. And we know we need to replace this photo because in our final comp, if you look in the comment um, column, you'll see that we have indicated which photos are being featured in each scene. So that kind of makes it easier for you to um, figure out which ones you want to be shown in the different scenes. So back to our project panel, let's double click to open the photo 01 composition. Here we go. And you can delete these or turn, uh, turn off these placeholders. Uh, those were just there to show you um, in the preview which photo you were looking at. So now to import the photo we want to use, we're going to go to File, Import, File, and then you'll navigate to the folder on your hard drive where you have the photos that you want to use. And we're going to use this picture right here. And all you need to do is just select the image and drag and drop it into your composition timeline. Here we go. And as you can see, this photo is a little bit big. So if you want to twirl down to your transform properties, go to scale and you can slide these numbers to the right or left to make this image bigger or smaller. And you can grab it with your selection tool in the composition uh, viewer and, and position this photo however you like. So we're gonna keep that. And if we go back to the final composition, you'll see that our photo has been replaced. And just to show you quickly, all of these frames um, are in the elements folder in your project panel. I'm going to go down to photo frames, twirl that down, and let's double click photo frame 01 just to show you um, what's going on here. In this composition for photo frame 01, we have some animated blur layers. And those are specific to the scene in which this photo frame appears. So I wouldn't touch any of those or don't, you know, try to animate them or anything. But I did want to show you these layers. Uh, paper texture, that one is the frame. Then we have a grainy texture that's kind of overlaid on top of the photo to give it that sort of beat up vintage Instagram look. But if you were to use an Instagram photo, which I have one, and I'll import it now, you can double click to open your photo 01 comp and then drag and drop your Instagram photo into the placeholder. If you go back to our photo frame 01, you'll see that our photo has been updated, but there's also still that grain and that you know paper texture on top of it. If you wanna move this layer up over the grain texture, um, it won't look as dirty. So just remember in the photo frame compositions, this is where you would change uh, the look of your photo. So let's go back to our final comp and let's double click the layer intro focus stack composition and that will open up the timeline. And any of these text layers, you'll see a little T icon next to the text layer um, in the timeline and that indicates that this is a text layer. If you double click on any of them, you'll see that the text has become highlighted and you can now type your text. Now to change the font or the colors, you want to go to your character panel and select your new font from the drop down menu and then use the color picker to change your color. Now all of these text layers are animated. So you don't want to delete these text layers and then just type in your new one. 
you want to edit the ones that are currently existing in the timeline. And if you need to move this text layer in any way, just hit, uh, you're gonna use the anchor point. So with your text layer selected, hit A to bring up your anchor point parameters and you can slide your Y values to move this thing up and down. Don't use the position or drag the layer because it's already animated um, with the camera tracker. Just use your anchor point if you need to move this text for any reason. Now if we take a closer look in the final comp, you'll see that these composition layers are edited and you can re-edit this entire final preview um, if you wanted to. So if you needed to make the focus stack comp longer, you would just select that layer and see how our little icon will stretch this all the way to the end. Then you can select the layer underneath and hold down shift and select the very last layer and you can drag all of your layers over. And if we go kind of scrub through through our timeline, you'll see that our intro focus stack comp, our animation is much longer. So I left a little bit of wiggle room as far as timing is concerned. A lot of these compositions are at least 10 seconds long. So if you needed to make this animation much, much longer, that's how you would do it. So again, just to recap, to replace your images, you go to replace images here folder in your project panel. Double click on any of the placeholder comps and as you can see there are 53 photos that are shown in this slideshow. And to change the text in any of these comps you'll want to open up these compositions by double clicking them in the final comp and then double clicking your text. And just to show you quickly, back to the project panel we do have a folder that um, where all the scenes are so if you need to get to them quickly from the project panel if you prefer that, uh, this is where they're at. So thanks for watching, and if you ever have any questions or get stuck or need help, you can always send me an email and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I get back to everybody, so it doesn't matter what kind of question it is. If you feel like it's a dumb question, there are no dumb questions. Um, just give me a holler if you have any problems.